am mm. just feeling on a roll. Like my Jeez, brain is you like are firing really good right at that. now. Bikini bottom. There. Wait. I think I'm is onto she something. Is actually on ah! something? Today we're going to be testing your knowledge of TV fan theories. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Yay! Are you going to do good in it? I hope so. Okay. Like, I love TV, film, everything pop culture, so if I don't do well, okay. I might cry. I'll be showing you some popular, funny, and outright ridiculous theories that fans have come up with for their favorite television shows. Okay. You'll have to guess which show the fan theory is talking about. Oh, Ooh, I've, I've read a fair amount of fan theories online. I mean, some of them are... A little extra. There are some shows I will have absolutely no yeah. idea. I have, I have no idea. Exactly. Like, if it's a show I haven't seen, I have no idea where that fan theory is coming from. I live yeah. by Family Guy. So. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like a lot of Game of Thrones and Lost. The Office. Yeah, Office, 30 Rock, and Parks and Rec. Mm. I think he's going to do better than me. I always try to go in with as much blind confidence as I can, so I, I got this. OK, theory one. The main character in this kid's show is based on a tampon. All of the other characters and even locations are named after things that correlate to tampons. That, I'm sorry, what? And it's a kid's show. I'm Confucian. Oh, okay, yes. Actually, yes, this, this show kind of makes sense. Oh, yep, 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 I got it, I got it. Something just clicked. Okay, uh, something just clicked. I might be wrong. Something didn't click for me. Show me your words in three, two, oh. one. Yeah. Dora the Explorer and Big Mouth. Those are both really fun guesses. Big Mouth? Neither of them are correct. <laughs> not a kid's show. show. I know. That was the first thing that came but. to my mind. Paw Patrol and SpongeBob. <laughs> I don't know. Bikini Bottom. There. We Wait. I think I'm on something. Is she actually on ah! Is she, she right? <laughs> yes, that's correct. It's oh SpongeBob. My God, good job. That was great. <laughs> Thank good you. Job. SpongeBob SquarePants and Pup Patrol. Well, the name of the show is Paw Patrol. Ah. Uh. And it's also incorrect. The correct answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. What? It is hey. SpongeBob SquarePants. It makes sense if you start you thinking it. about it. Yeah. Andrew, you were right. It's SpongeBob ah! SquarePants. Sponge. So the correct answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. What? Tampon. Sponge. The correct answer is SpongeBob SquarePants. Ah! Okay, he's so absorbent. Okay. The Redditor Zombie Pineapple thinks this super absorbent fellow is actually a feminine hygiene product. And to be fair, SpongeBob is a resident of Bikini Bottom. Plus, he spends a lot of time with Sandy Cheeks and Mr. Krabs. Ooh. You know, I've actually heard this really before. Good. Now that I think about it, that's upsetting. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Okay, theory number two a serial killer famous for strangling his victims. This notorious murderer was masquerading as the least remarkable employee in his workplace. That just sounds like Dexter. I know it! I so know this one! Really deductive reason you can figure this one out. Although, this is one of the theories that. I did want to mention at the top, but I didn't want to give it away. Don't listen to how many, like, how much I'm moving my pen or how many letters I'm writing, okay? It sounds long. Show me your words in three, two, one. Dexter and Homer. Okay, so it is neither The Simpsons nor Dexter. <sighs> Show me your answers in three, two, one. Oh, sorry. I got excited! Just Yay! Office. Oh! Yes. Good job. It's The yeah. Office. Good job. You're both correct! Yay! That is correct! Yay! Damn it, Toby! <laughs> <laughs> we both wrote Toby on our boards. The office. Yeah! But look, I have more details, so I get an extra point, right? <laughs> Twitter user Spencer McClure was the first to suggest that Toby was actually the Scranton Strangler. Now there are entire Reddits devoted to uncovering the many seasons of evidence. I am convinced That's he's fun. also a Strangler. Have you seen his eyes? It makes sense. And, okay, if you just look at Toby, he just yeah. looks Ooh. like a... Serial killer vibe. He does. <laughs> All the characters on this show were actually dead the whole time. The entire show takes place in purgatory. Anytime oh. a character dies on the show, they're simply exiting purgatory purgatory and entering heaven. Oh, oh, really? Okay, come on. Show me your words. Three, two, one. So the correct answer is lost. Ah! I've never actually seen a full episode of Friends. Oh, that's fair. I just thought this fan theory existed out there somewhere. Okay. Adventure time and lost. We have to go back. <laughs> You're both correct. Okay. That was a wild guess. I've only seen one episode in the break room. Yeah. Lost. Correct, it's lost. Right. Yeah. This is a mainstream theory at this point. Yeah, exactly. It's a, yeah. I've never even seen that show, and I knew this one. Yay! You both got 
sounded correct. I was a hardcore Lost fan, were you? So was I. That's uh, correct. Yeah. Yeah, this this show has a ton of fan theories. Mm -hmm. This is the most popular fan theory about Lost. And although the ending made it seem like it could have been true, the creators have denied it multiple times. Hmm. It's like Quentin Tarantino saying Marcellus Wallace's soul isn't in the briefcase, even though it's pretty good <laughs> theory. <laughs> the six main characters from this popular TV sitcom were actually patients in a mental asylum, all participating in a shared delusion. Was this ever mentioned on the show? I, <laughs> I know exactly answer. what yeah, you're thinking. Yeah, because it could be that. No idea how many we've got here, but... Show me boards in three, two, one. Well, there's yeah. an episode yeah, there's a just like this in Community. <laughs> you were both wrong. Oh, yeah, I knew that wasn't it. Friends, Stranger Things. Both good guesses, Friends is correct. Wow. I don't like to mess around. I need to get on Reddit, man. Friends. Friends, you're both correct. Yes. Friends, Family Guy. Ooh, that was Friends really is correct. Oh, yes. yes. Do this one again. <laughs> Friends, you're both correct. Oh my god. <laughs> That's correct. Oh. Yes. It sounds vaguely familiar, but I also, I don't get it. So this super dark fan theory suggests that each of the Central Friends. Perk Six had mental disorders so severe that they were institutionalized. And upon being institutionalized, they shared a psychosis. How else could they have afforded that apartment? <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. The apartment thing, you didn't have me until like that line. I've never heard of it and I watch Friends a lot. Honestly, I feel like Family Guy was right. Have you seen that show? Theory five, the characters in the series are physical manifestations of different psychological disorders, including ADHD, OCD, generalized anxiety disorder, and depression. They were invented by a child who had all of these conditions as a sort of coping mechanism. I've Heard Crap. this before. I've heard this too. What is it about? It can be anything. After reading that friend's one, I'm just like, now I don't know. I am just mm. feeling on a roll. Like my Jeez, brain is you like are firing really good right at this. Now. Well, I don't know if this is right, okay. but I just at least have like a strong theory. Show me your boards. Three, two, one. Parks and Rec, Rugrats, both are incorrect. Dang it. Oh, yours is a good one. Those are both great guesses, but both incorrect. Oh. Oh. Rugrats and Doc McStuffins. Both good guesses, both incorrect. Oh, yeah. The correct oh. answer is Winnie the Pooh. Damn it, that is good. Winnie the Pooh and him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Winnie the Pooh, you're both correct. Yeah. Yes. My nickname is Pooh Bear. Did you know that? Aww. This theory was first popularized in an article in the Canadian Medical Journal and states that each of the characters represents a different mental disorder. Piglet right. is anxiety, right. Tigger is ADHD, Eeyore is depression, and those are just a few examples. Is Rabbit OCD? Yeah. It was published in the Canadian Medical Journal. Growing up, that was actually a way I was taught what disorders were and like why oh. you can't make fun of people or like judge people. Oh. In my mind, it's not even a theory. Like it's like legit. <laughs> okay, theory six. This magical sitcom is secretly about homosexuality. In fact, the main character's struggles with her true identity are all part of an elaborate metaphor for coming out. It's a sitcom and the main character is a woman. Oh, I think I know. Is it recent? You think because we worked together that one time, I'm gonna help you out? Uh, don't cheat, Mark. Gosh, I, I don't, I don't have it. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is correct. <gasps> oh my gosh! You're both correct. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Wow. Sabrina is correct. Yeah. <laughs> See, I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> Andrea, you were correct. <laughs> oh my god! See, because mine's not a sitcom, and I, had, I was like, ah, Sabrina is correct. Damn it. I'm rewatching Buffy the Vampire Slayer right now, and there's a scene where her mom says, well, have you tried not being a vampire slayer? Oh, as nice. soon as like she comes out at that. So there are hints. It's Great. such a similar. Oh, come on. <laughs> so, Madeline, you're correct. Yeah. Oh, are they saying that like being a witch is like being homosexual and you have to yeah. try to hide that? Okay. According to Entertainment Weekly writer Henry Goldblatt, Witchcraft was actually a metaphor for homosexuality. Hmm. Sabrina struggling to learn magic without her mortal friends discovering her secret mirrors that often faced by gay people coming out. Hmm. Plus, the only place the protagonist can be herself is literally inside of a closet. Oh. oh! After her tragic death, this character came back to life to seek revenge on those who wronged her. Unfortunately, her resurrection wasn't perfect and she's now an entirely different woman, haunting the background of scenes. So I'm assuming it's somebody who died halfway through the show. And it's like maybe not the main character. She's an entirely different woman. 
Yeah. So maybe a character dies in a show and then there's another actress that's constantly in the background. I actually have a show that I'm thinking about, but it's probably not that one because okay. it is literally the plot of the show. So we answer in three, two, one. Dang oh, it. okay. Buffy was a great guess. Still riding with Buffy! Damn <laughs> it! Both really fun guesses, both, both super wrong. wrong. <laughs> you're both wrong! Oh, oh my I god! I thought it was gonna be it! Mark, you're correct, it's Game of Thrones! Mother. Ah. Talk about it. Game of Thrones is correct! Is it really? This was a guess. I saw oh, Tragic man. Death, Seeking Revenge, Resurrection wasn't perfect. I was like, okay, let me try Game of Thrones for this one. Correct, it's Game of Thrones! What? It's a uh, Catelyn's. <laughs> Right? What? <sighs> so, in the books, Catelyn Stark returns as Lady Stoneheart. Unfortunately, her resurrection doesn't go great. Chill. While, while the HBO series <laughs> hasn't included this storyline, diligent fans are just convinced that Zombie Cat's Roman Westeros, I insisting hope so. that she was in the background of a scene at Winterfell last season. Dude. It up, sis. From working in television, it would take an entire team of people <laughs> yeah. to be like, okay, but we've got to like put this subtle little nod to the book in the background of this scene. That mm. There's no way. That's too much work. It was a good battle. That was this, a close this one, was too. Hard. This was really fun. I'm happy to help you out with your first win. Oh, yeah. You're, you're welcome. There it is. How about a freeze frame? Oh, yeah. Don't you forget about me. Thanks for watching us guest TV theories on the React channel. Subscribe for new shows every week. What crazy fan theory do we need to know? Tell us in the comments. Bye guys. Hey guys, React producer Mary here. Do you want to be a part of FBE? Well, join our super fam to give us input, help us grow our channel, and more. Thanks for watching. Bye.